using SNAP. Um, the other pre presenters, people who will be able to answer questions are Bernat uh, here, uh, Jens obviously is part of our team, Brian Harvey who's here, and Michael Ball. So let's talk about how to do that. So internet APIs are plentiful around the web. If you um, do a Google for programmable web or internet APIs, you can find a ton of them from weather services to temperatures in other countries to traffic. What's, what's, what are the other ones that we've seen? Um, converters, math libraries, lots and lots of wonderful things. Snap allows an easy way to do this through a series of blocks that we give you through our library. Um, what you typically get back from these internet APIs are XML, which is kind of a, you don't want to really parse it manually, it's not human readable, or JSON, JavaScript object notation. And you have to then chug through that. Well, thanks to Bernard and some folks of our team, uh, we actually have a block that lets you take that ugly text and make it just a list of lists of lists, and we know how to deal with that. Then we use some of our functions as data routines like keep and map to process that. And once you're all done, you can actually then use a query block, which is how that's built. So we're going to show a demo. This is also a mini workshop. It's a little, so if you have a laptop, you can follow along. So I've done that here. So bring, bring your, take your laptop out and follow along. Here's the URL you want to go to, tinyurl.com slash scratch 2017 IOT. And I'll basically do it in front of you, uh, but we'll also be able to have anybody ask questions. So this is one of those fun mini workshops, tinyurl.com slash scratch 2017 IOT for Internet of Things. Okay? So we're going to find a very, very simple API. It's the genderize API. Okay, jump, jump in there. Oh, yeah. Okay. So here, and hopefully I've made the blocks big enough for you all. So if you load this, that URL, you get this block, which says, welcome to the programming Internet of Things um, with Snap session. We've done three things already. We have imported tools in Snap. Under the uh, file menu, there's import tools. So this, is a, this, is, this loads really powerful blocks that you want to use for most of your kind of functions as data utilities. Then under libraries, if you choose libraries, one of these libraries is the web services access. We've loaded that also for you, okay? And finally, we've given you a free block, which is great, which is a listify and query blocks. You can keep this project and use those in other places by exporting those blocks by themselves and just using them, but we may end up eventually packaging them up with a, with a utility. So these are just great ways to do this, okay? So the first place to go to is I'm going to go to this website called api.genderize.io, okay? So boom. And this is a gender, this is a, uh, a, this is a URL that when you give it a name, it will tell you the probability that name is the particular gender. So Ada, we had in a keynote today. So Ada with probability 0 0.96 is a female. Okay, so there's two pieces of information you get back from this, from this particular one. Some APIs are only APIs where you get data from. You give it no data. There's, a, there's an API we love, which is the Jeopardy one. It gives you a random Jeopardy. Who knows the game of Jeopardy? It's like a question and answer thing. It's kind of in the States. Anyway, you ask a question, you get this thing back. I'll show you that demo a little bit later. So that would give you both the title, the question, and the answer. So you get three things, but you give it nothing. You just say, give it to me, and you give me something. Here I give it the name, and it does that. There are some APIs where you just give it something, like turn that light on or turn that light off, and I don't get anything back. So there's some APIs are one way or some are two way. Okay. So I, this here is ugly. That's ugly text. We don't want to deal, to deal with this. Um, Nets blocks allows you to kind of wrap that in a nice thing, but if you're kind of playing around with, with a system, you don't really know what the API is. You're playing around with this. So this, by the way, API generalized IO, if you give it name, it's this. If you actually take the name out, I believe it gives you the introduction. There's like a, one of these has an introduction to the gender. Just type for genderized, and it'll give you the, kind of the documentation for it. All right? So, here is this get block. If I click this get block, name is Ada. I click on this, and look, I get it back in Snap. Ada, gender, female, probability 0.96, and count. Okay? So that's pretty cool. So what we're going to do is write a little together, if you want. We're going to write a little piece of code that's going to ask the user for their name. Um, boy, I wonder if we have a ask user for your name. The ask and answer already starts with what's your name. It's like it's already set up for our demo. I don't know why, but that's a wonderful. So here's ask your name. It's ready to go. Okay? And answer is going to be where their answer is. And so we're going to have to then package the result of that to this. So that name has to be Ada, and that's going to be an answer. So I pull a join block out. This is real time. We're doing this together. I hope this demo works. And I'm going to take this guy, oh, take this guy, and copy it, copy it, and put it here. 
and put answer in the second guy, second guy, and now I take this ADA and put away, and now in theory, this should work. I should say ask, and it should get. Let's just see if it works once. Here we go, okay? And I'm gonna now, just for fun, I'm gonna say the result of that, okay? Say the result of that. So say the result of, whew, deep breath, a call to get, call to get, with the join as the argument. So let's see if I can make this smaller for a second. See so how does it look? Say get, join, APIs, and I, I probably also have to ask the name first. Boink, okay, so let's try this. Let's run it together, here we go. So it's basically calling the API and putting the name as whatever the answer is, all right? So here we go, let's try it. Ask what your name is, and I say Dan, and it should give me back ugly stuff, right? Ugly stuff, so it's good. You see how it worked for a second? Here we go, I'll try, I'll try it again, I'll try Ada. Ada. And it gives you back ugly JSON. I don't want to see that. I want to see human readable stuff. So that's part one. Is now I, have, I now have it working. The first thing I do once I have the result of this is I can pass this to this wonderful block written by Renat called Listify. This is a delightful block that takes JSON and makes it a list of lists, which in Snap, thanks to Brian and Jens, we now can visualize as a table. So I click on this. Hey! Already like halfway there. Right? So rather than ugly, ugly text, I've got this beautiful table, which I can now do something with. All right? But how do I parse from the table? Aha. Then comes query to the rescue. So let's make a couple of variables, or maybe even a script variable. So let's have a script variable, and let's have it be uh, the JSON, the JSON. Oh, actually, let's call it the list of lists. List of lists. And I'm going to set list of lists to be that guy. Boink. Set the list of lists to be the resulting guy I just had there, and that was in my say block. Where's my say block? Up there, okay. I have to grab it from the this, and that's a listify. So, what's your name? Say hello. So, what's your name? So, put this out. That's not there. Ask what's your name. I should probably I should put that below, right? Let's put that here. So, there, okay. Ask what's your name. Set list of lists to be the result of the call to listify. Right? That's why I have a team of people helping me here, okay? It's getting a little ugly. Let me see if I can clean this up. Oh, clean up. I love clean up. Okay. So some of the, okay, here we go so far. So now that's a list of lists, okay? And uh, just for fun, I believe I can even say list of lists. So let's, let's just, just see if that works. Let's see if that worked. Say list of lists. Here we go. And I don't need this. This is my secret thing I was saving till later. Okay. Now let's try it. Here we go. Okay, Dan. And it said it. See, you can see it. It's, it said the big thing. It said the big table. Okay. Ada. And it says the table. Look, it says the table. Tables are now sayable. Isn't that pretty cool? Okay. So now, how am I doing? 10 minutes. Whoosh, I'm more than halfway done. This is great. Okay. Now, what I want to do is parse it. So let's make two more variables, which are going to be my probability and my gender. So let's make two more variables quick. So here, I click this, and I click this. See how fast I can do this. Okay. So probability. Okay. Gender. Now, I have to now, it's useful to know this, to know exactly what the, what the exact name of the query is. So if I say Ada, if I click here, if I get it here, Ada, it is the word probability and the word gender, okay? So now I'm going to say another set block here, rather than this say here, I'm moving this here, moving this out of the way, okay? All right, say, no longer list of lists, uh, set the probability, and I have another one, I'm going to duplicate this and say set the gender, and watch how, how clean this is, okay? Gender to be what? To be, and this is going to be a uh, call to my query, which is floating up here, waiting to go, okay? So my query, now, query of what? Well, look, query prob probability from my list of lists, look how nice this is, yoink, okay, and my gender. I duplicate this, query my gender. And now, let's see if this works. Okay, say, now here's that, you got probably a long join, and I'm done, this is, I'm done. I have like this long join, and I say, say this long join for five seconds here. Okay, again, save this out of the way, this is my secret thing. Okay, so now, oh, I messed it up, I undrop. If I only had an undo, thank you, Brian, I have an undo. Okay, so we have an undo, which is great. Yoink, okay. All right, so let's see, uh, the name, okay, and that name is stored in answer, which is over here, so I duplicate that guy. Yoink, the name answer, okay, boom, here, is a space, it 
is a, this is not join words, this is join, so I have to put spaces in there. Could you join words? The name of it is a, put a space here, is a, let's grab it. See how, you see I'm going with this one? Is a gender, gender, okay, with probability, space, and a space on this one, this side too. Ability, one more, almost done, almost done, almost done. Ability, okay, watch. Yoink and yoink, I'm done. Let's try this, and I can even do this in a loop. Okay, I can grab a little forever block and put this here. Wait, no way did it just go around the outside of that. That's so cool. Okay, here we go. Are we ready? I think this is gonna work. Does it look like it did it? Okay, okay, let's try it. Okay, I can even have this just for fun. Have this be when started, and I can full screen this for the video because we gotta, gotta make, it, make it nice for the make it nice for the people. Okay, so here we go. Make it nice for the people. Ready? Start this guy. What's your name? Ada. The name Ada is a female probability 1.96. What's your name? Dan. The real money Ada over there. Got the demo. The demo. Okay. The demo. Okay. I got seven minutes left. What do you guys want to do? Well, we can show them. There, you're going to be the final one. We're going to show them another project, uh, which are back to the slides. There's another one called tinyurl.com slash BJC Jeopardy. I was mentioning this Jeopardy game. This is, again, another API. It takes no inputs. It just gives you random Jeopardy things. So I, I did this. We did this together, actually. Jens and I and Bernard did this uh, a year ago. We wanted to show everybody. So let's just go to that website and see, let's see what happens. tinyurl.com slash BJC Jeopardy. And this is my site. And let's see if we can do pastime holy cow he was in the broadcast booth 53 years the last 16 with the cubs so this is our national usa pastime baseball who is in the broadcast booth uh, i have no idea let's just try harry harry carey i'm hitting space i'm hitting i'm clicking what is harry carey harry carey all right let's keep going so now i keep playing title solve for x five eight X4 equals 3,8. What is X equals 1? Oh, I, I clicked it twice. That was too bad. Okay. Title. Spot the kitty, the Iranian, the Persian, the Zoroastrian. You should say, what is something that put... What is Persian? Love this. You guys are good. All right. One more. One more. Just for fun. Okay. Title. Movies by quote. Captain O'Vonner. Joey, do you like movies about gladiators? And, Joey, have you ever been in a Turkish prison? What is airplane the movie? What is an airplane? It doesn't know how to parse the, like, italics for that, but well done. Anyway, this is a, this is a game where it asks you questions and it's a lot of fun. A lot of American culture, obviously, referenced there. But here's how this works. It's exactly the same idea. Um, the, the, the idea behind this is I have an Ask Jeopardy question which if you go into it, essentially does, if I zoom in, calls this HTTP block to J service IO API random. Now you know how to read this. It listifies it into a list of lists. I call this the key value pairs. I get the, the, the title by doing a query to get the title. I get a question from question, an answer from what, and then I say what is, and then I just say tell this beautiful idea in Snap where you can tell one sprite to do something. So I'm telling two other sprites, I'm telling the title sprite to say it and speak it. And then I'm telling the mouth sprite to say it and speak it. The speak block is again, thanks to Jens, to let you connect with JavaScript and there's an underlying library that just does the speaking, okay? Speaking of that, we made this final demo. We were trying to do a couple demos at once, four minutes. Michael, in 16 minutes, made an API. He got his computer to wake up and receive a message from my computer. 16 minutes, I said, Michael, can you make an API before our session? And 16 minutes later, he had it working. So I said, well, make your computer do something when I send a message to it. And in theory, all of you can send a message to his computer because he has no key preventing everybody from spamming it. Let's just see. That was the secret. So you're going to hold the mic while we try to get this working. Okay. So here is, here is the call. Let's see if it works over here. And Michael's going to here, so he just broke this open and he just made an API. He called it Michael Engrock Speak and Voices Thomas. Let's see if this works. He's gonna put the mic, does that? I don't try, 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 try let's try it. I'm just making a call. Same call, but I'm calling his API to see if his computer does anything. Ready? Bonjour, Scratch 2017, Bordeaux. But then did it to see his computer. Now you try it. So watch, I'm gonna now, say, here's the beauty of Snap. I'm now gonna save this. 
Watch, let me stop all these things. They're all running. Okay. I now saved it. If you reload the link I just gave you, let's just try it. Reload this link. Reload that link. Tiny URL scratch 2017 IoT. In theory, you now have a, a, you know, a line that when you run it will also send a message to his computer to say something. So have it say something fun on the bottom. I'll show you where it is. In that project I just saved, in the bottom, I have a get block. And the bottom one, I have two of them, which is speak with air. But you can also say a message. So I, this last one, actually, I randomly chose a voice. I didn't, I didn't try this out. Let's try it. Let's see if this works. Bonjour, Scratch 2017, Bordeaux. And this is how different people do it. So click on the bottom one. Hello. So I can even say, hey, change hello to be your name. So everybody who sends a message to this one, tell put your name. So I'll put my Dan. Let's see if that's it, right? Dan. Dan. Now, everybody change the word name in yours, and it'll say your name up here on Michael's computer. Let's see if how fast, how many hits he can Bonjour, take. Bonjour, Scratch 2017, Bordeaux. Bonjour, Scratch 2017, Bordeaux. <laughs> Ryan. <laughs> Bonjour, Scratch 2017, Bordeaux. That's the first one. The second one is the one that has your name. Peter was here. <laughs> <laughs> so, there. So, the room full of nerds. <laughs> full of nerds. <laughs> I love it. Phew. The room full of nerds. Okay. So, in, and finally, that was an awesome demo. Thank you for that, Michael. And finally, I just found this amazing uh, piece of hardware. I ordered one, but it was back ordered because it's so popular. Um, this is a power strip. Um, this power strip has nine programmable outlets, each of them with a RESTful API. The same API that Michael just created in 10 minutes. It's wake up. And this is a cable, this Wi Fi. You plug this in, and there's a Wi Fi connection. I'm sure there's a key and some other stuff there. I don't have the physical device to know. But I believe, I believe you have nine devices. So you can have nine different lights or radios that you can program with your computer. Now, 160 bucks is a little high, but the idea is you can have a Raspberry Pi that's receiving these messages that does all these cool things and connects to different, uh, different electronics. So you can build this yourself. In the maker sense, in the maker space, you can build these yourself um, to be able to have uh, Internet of Things at home. You can also buy off-the-shelf off, off the things, uh, but who knows if they have a RESTful API that lets you talk to them in the same way. Anyway, any other thoughts? <laughs> Thank you very much, folks. Thank you for coming to our session. Woo!